Welcome Virgo and cross watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a new love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There are always time stamps in the description box for those who want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. That means this may resonate for you, past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Overall energies, please, and new love for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus spirit. Wow. Okay, we have soulmate and release your ex. Under the deck is make the effort. Great, lo great love is worth taking the steps that you are guided to take. So, somebody needs to take take time to clear the energy, release the past. You or them may not currently be involved with someone, but there's kind of like maybe potentially like a memory of somebody from the past. Um, fears about past repeating in itself, disappointment in love, fears of opening up and being vulnerable. Yes, this is your soulmate. This is very different from energies you've experienced in the past. Um, for your reading today, I was specifically drawn to Golden Healer. Uh, so you may want to look up the metaphysical properties of that or use it in your own daily meditations. This is basically just clear quartz with an iron inclusion. <clears throat> also known as Golden Healer Quartz. All right. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirit, and new love. What's coming in? What's going to see about the situation, please? Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords, okay, with the Seven of Cups, with Judgment, and the Ace of Wands. Very interesting energies. So you definitely could be dealing with a fire sign, um, an air sign, could be any sign, but Ace of Swords... I feel that communication is coming to you. You've been kind of sitting in this place of disappointment, Virgo, waiting for something to break through, for the ice to break, for clarity to come in, for some form of communication perhaps from someone, for them to initiate something, to be honest about how they feel, kind of just feeling overwhelmed. I don't want to say defeated, but it's kind of just like you've got a lot on your plate, a lot on your mind, but some of you are kind of been sitting in a, a low place, just kind of like, mm, how do I want to put that? It's, uh, it's interesting how I'm feeling it, how they're showing it to me. I don't want to say downright hopelessness, but just kind of feeling frustrated in a situation, disappointed, you know, wait, just really anxious for things to improve, change. Like there's been a sense of stagnancy in this connection up until this point, I feel, because the, there's judgment coming in. So there's a call, possibly a physical phone call or message coming in some kind of news decisions being made ace of wands passionate new beginnings okay creativity a spark their thoughts feelings and intentions we have the princess of swords gemini libra aquarius energy in their heart space we have the nine of coins there you are that's your energy intentions we have the five of coins Clarify it, With the eight of cups and eight of coins. Okay. Okay, now it's making more sense for me. Okay. And their actions towards you, please. Two of cups. Well, under the deck we have the princess of coins. So you strongly could be dealing with a fellow earth sign like yourself, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Two of coins, five of swords, strength card, knight of cups, the fool. Okay. So what I'm feeling here for you, Virgo, the, and again, take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't force messages to fit if they're not for you. Okay, check your other placements. Moon, rising, Venus, please. So what we have here, ace of swords, I feel like there's communication coming and you've been waiting. Maybe some of you have had options in love or you feel like your person did. Um, waiting for this person to make a decision, to come towards you, feeling discontent, feeling like you didn't have the keys to the tools to move this forward on your own, like waiting for them to make some kind of a move or initiate things, okay? But I see communication coming into you. I see truth, honesty, you know, a serious conversation, okay? I feel like you're going to come out of this energy here with judgment here. I feel like someone's making a very conscious decision to move things forward, to have a new beginning here. With the Ace of Wands, I am feeling like there's some kind of uh, ignition, some kind of like fire, something, something starting here, okay? It's, it's um... It's creation. It's the start of something. You know, there is a deep attraction here, desire, longing to move forward, passion. 
You know, we do see that here. We do see somebody here making the effort here to, to move things forward with you. Uh, and for for a handful of you, this definitely could be in regards to a karmic partnership that someone was involved in. And in order to move forward with you and make the effort here, they're having to release this energy because they recognize that you are their soulmate. Okay, so that's for some of you. With the Princess of Swords here in their thoughts, I feel like they need answers from you. Okay, this is Page of, of Swords. This is curiosity, asking questions, needing answers, looking for insight, you know, spying, perhaps. This person could be watching you. And I don't feel like it's at all in a creepy stalkerish way. I mean, I don't have like the Seven of Swords and the Devil sitting here surrounding it. I feel more so like they just want to know, like, are you available? Are you interested? Do you like the same kind of things that they like? What do you like to do? You know, they, they want to get to know you. They want more information about you. This can also be them thinking about how to phrase questions or how to ask questions without, you know, pushing you away or, you know what I mean? They are getting answers from you, um, especially if they're a little bit afraid to kind of tell you how they truly feel and what they truly want with you. With the nine of coins here, that is your energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pre-Empress energy in their heart space. They desire you, okay? Now, here we are, nine of coins. This is single, independent, confident. She's successful, ambitious. She has goals, dreams, plans for the future. She's got all of this blessings, all this abundance wrapped around her. She works hard. She holds her head high. Male or female does not matter. This is the energy we're talking about here. This is somebody doing very well for themselves. They may feel like you're somebody who maybe has their own business or, you know, works really hard, very financially abundant, you know, very resourceful, responsible. And they desire you. In their intentions, what we have here, and this is what's kind of interesting about this reading. This is, you know, um, it's, we had the five of coins. So they feel currently maybe left out from you, but I also feel like their intention here is to make some kind of change in their situation because I do have the eight of cups, which symbolizes walking away, and the eight of coins. So eights could be very relevant for some of you, but it's like they have to leave something behind in order to work on this connection with you. They have to detach from something. This could be in regards to money. They, this person may um, have to leave their job for a couple of things. So either this person is currently committed or involved in some way. It doesn't have to be in a romantic sense. I mean, there could be like a baby mama, a child's father. They owe child support to or they, they work together with kind of thing. Or they share some kind of uh, finance finances, resources with someone. Uh, or this person's job they don't feel uh, at in, they feel inadequate in some way when it comes to money and to work like they don't make enough money for you i don't think that bothers you because i feel like you're in a good place but it's like they worry that they don't have enough to bring to the table or they may lose a lot of money okay they may want to change jobs walk away from something i mean it could be a job that they have been out been at for you know five ten years maybe they've spent a lot of time you know building this and maybe they do have some kind of emotional attachment to it even though they don't make the kind of money that they want um because i do see somebody here possibly taking a new uh, career opportunity looking at you know uh positions that are hiring that kind of thing looking at starting their own business or how to invest or save money and for some of them, it is going to be leaving a karmic partnership, emotionally detaching and walking away. They could lose a lot of money in that process. I am seeing a child standing here, so for some of them, it could be in regards to children. They may have to pay money out or something like that, so that they could begin to work on things with you. And with their actions, here we have the Two of Cups. So I do feel like they're coming together with you to communicate some of this to you. Two of Cups, this is not only, you know, a physical connection, but it's an emotional one. This is about friendship, you know. Um... I feel like there is a strong telepathic connection between you and this person. I feel like you do sense a lot of these things. With the Princess of Coins here, the Two of Coins, and the Five of Swords, this is somebody thinking long and hard about what they want in the future and how they want to invest their time. Okay, they have, they've been juggling, they're making a decision here to leave something in the past. They're walking away from something. Uh, they are gathering their strength Leo energy to come towards you with an opportunity of love. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy with this Knight of Cups opening their heart to you. They're taking a risk. Okay, they're risking it. Okay, Aries energy. Take a leap of faith by telling you how they feel. They don't know if you're going to reciprocate, if you're going to feel the same way. Okay, if you're going to want this as well. But they are just making a conscious effort here. Okay, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are going to take. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. They recognize that and they do not want this to get away. Look at that. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Fully giving to this passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. No longer holding back from this. They recognize you as their soulmate. They're having to clear their energy. Okay. They recognize what this connection is. They don't want it to get away from them. 
So yeah, offers are coming in here. They may ask you on a date, okay? They've been thinking a lot about this, how to do this. They've been keeping this to themselves. They're decided to go for it here. I feel like there is some kind of stress or burden in their life, but I feel like they're they're getting gathering information, maybe asking you subtle questions. You may not even realize these questions they're asking you actually have a deeper meaning, a deeper purpose. You know, they maybe ask you like, what are your what are your what are your kids like? You know, what are they into right now? And it's because they want to get to know them so that when they feel like they may meet them, they are you know. Uh, you know, they can connect with them in that way. Or they would be asking you, you know, what, what's your dream vacation? Because they want, want to plan a trip with you later one day. Or, you know, they may want to ask you, you know, what you like to do on, you know, the weekends. Because they're trying to get, you know, figure out how they can make you happy and spend time with you. Get to know you. They, they want to know the kind of places you like, the kind of movies you like. They want to know, they want to know more about you. Okay? They want to connect with you. They, they, they see you. They hold you in like high regard. Like, they see you in a really positive like you know they see you as somebody very beautiful very strong very ambitious and they want to match that energy they feel inadequate in some way now but i feel like that they a situation will be changing and that's when they're coming towards you opening their heart to you this is a, a, a talk or com, a conversation here that gets very emotional it's very honest very blunt very direct um they're they're taking their chance by asking you how you feel what you want so good things coming in here for the Virgo Collective. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for those of you sending donations to the channel. It is truly appreciated. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I'm wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.